Welcome back. Police in Mpumalanga have made a breakthrough in the murder of a German tourist killed earlier this month. A 35-year-old suspect was arrested on Wednesday and has appeared in court for murder, attempted murder and attempted hijacking. For more on this story, let's talk to Mpumalanga police spokesperson Brigadier Selvi Mothala. Brigadier, thank you very much for your time this evening and congratulations on the progress in this case. Can you tell us how police identified and how did you trace this suspect? Good evening and uh, good evening to our viewers and uh, thank you very much uh, for congratulating us uh, on this particular wonderful work that we have done. Indeed, um, our seasoned detectives um, uh, managed to crack through the, this particular case. You would remember immediately after the incident uh, on the 3rd of October, uh, we immediately established uh, a team of detectives, but then uh, a few hours after that, uh, there were three people of interest that we took for questioning. And uh, they also contributed in terms of providing a positive information. However, we couldn't link them with the meta case and uh, we released them. Safe to say that we continue with, with our investigation. And uh, at the end of the day, um, uh, it led us to this particular suspect that has been arrested on Wednesday. And uh, he appeared before the Capoguen magistrate court today facing those particular uh, charges, the charge of murder, attempted murder and attempted kidnapping. But then we don't rule out the possibility that there are more suspects uh, on the loose because you would remember on that particular day, um, the two, those, those four tourists were attacked by a group of uh, uh, criminals who were driving on a, a VW KD. But uh, what we have discovered over and above that is that uh, there was another vehicle that, that was uh, you know traveling along which means that they, they it, 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 there were more than uh, uh, three suspects uh, the other ones were traveling on, on on the other vehicle and that's how we managed to, to crack through the, the case uh, because of the hard work and dedication that was shown by our season detectives so do you have a specific number of suspects that you're looking for at this stage, given that you now know uh, that there was another vehicle besides the VW Caddy as well? We, we don't have. We don't have. Unfortunately, we don't have. And we, and we don't want to create that particular um, situation or narration to say that we've got a specific number of people, mm -hmm. because it might be number of people that are linked to this particular case. For instance, uh, it's three on that particular case. Now, on the other car that was traveling along with them, we don't know how many suspects were, were inside. But over and above that, if you look at this kind of criminality, it, it means that the, uh, it, the likelihood is that it, it, it's being committed by people who have already assessed the situation, who know what exactly transpired or what, what normally happens within that, that particular road. So over and above, above the, the two vehicles that we were talking about, it might be that there are other people that are involved who are perhaps, you know, waiting and seeing, uh, perhaps, you know, informing, you know, these other criminals when there's an opportunity of this particular source, of this particular uh, uh, situation. So we don't want to close our net. We are going to arrest as many people as possible for as long as they are involved in this kind of criminality, because indeed we cannot allow it. It, uh, you know, it, 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 it tainted the, the name of the country. It tainted our, our industry, our tourism industry. And also it says a lot about us as the police to say that uh, we are not doing much, but we want to prove it to say that uh, we are working very hard to ensure that we want our tourists and any other person in our province to be safe and feel safe. Brigadier Mothala, do you expect the suspect in custody to be able to give you information about the whereabouts of other persons of interest? Do you expect that he might be willing to cooperate? We do. We do expect that uh, he, he would cooperate. But over and above that, while he's still in custody, uh, uh, there's, there, are, there, are, there are other you know, parallel processes that are, that are under, 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 undergoing. Uh, we are still continuing with our investigation. Mm -hmm. We haven't stopped and said that we have arrested one suspect, then he's going to disclose information. Because there's a possibility that he might give us wrong information. There's a possibility that he might not give us uh, an information altogether, which means that uh, we're going to, 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 to get stuck and uh, go to square one. So what we're doing is for now, uh, our members are still on the ground. We are still going to spend sleepless nights like we have done uh, before until we arrest other suspects. Because what we are sure of is that uh, the, this particular suspect was not alone when he was committing this particular uh, criminality. So there were others. So where are they? If he doesn't disclose information, we'll still have to work. But if he does disclose information, it will be bonus from the side of the police. It will make our work a little bit easier.
Do you expect that you will need the cooperation of the other German tourists who, who were also uh, attacked on that day, uh, perhaps, perhaps uh, in an identity parade to, to ensure the correct identity of this suspect for court purposes later? Look, uh, the challenge that we normally have uh, with the case of this, of this situation or of this magnitude is that uh, uh, more often than not, um, the, the tourists, especially the foreign tourists, wouldn't like to, you know, travel such a long distance and come back and be involved in these uh, court proceedings and so on and so forth. They most probably don't, 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 don't like to come back. But should they be willing uh, to come and uh, 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 and uh, identify the, the suspect, we we'll definitely invite them, and uh, that will be um, a situation that is going to assist us as the police. But it's uh, safe to say that uh, we still understand that uh, they might uh, they might still be traumatized by this particular situation. Mm. They might not want to get involved by by now because it's still a very um, uh, early stage. And uh, we'll respect that, but we'll continue from our, the side of the police. But should they, you know, you know, be willing to come and assist, mm -hmm. that will be glad. Um, we'll accept, completely accept it. Brigitte Moshlala, before I let you go, that stretch of road uh, is infamous. People have said that it is a hot spot, especially for foreign tourists uh, to be attacked or to become victims of some kind. Uh, could you talk to us about increased police presence there as we head towards the end of the year when we know we will have an increased number of foreign tourists, and especially in light of the fact that the U.S. Embassy has just issued a warning to U.S. tourists coming to visit South Africa and specifically the Kruger National Park not to use that gate, but rather to use alternate gates that are believed to be safer? Look, we, we have uh, indicated that we have... Uh, uh, um, you know, establish some kind of uh, working togetherness with um, our uh, our colleagues uh, in terms of the security. We are partnering with the security companies, especially those that are um, patrolling within those particular um, uh, establishments uh, around. And over and above that, uh, I remember the MEC for uh, Community Safety, Security and Liaison has also indicated that uh, he will provide more traffic officers that are going to beef up uh, our members. And uh, working hand in hand with the CPF as well from our side of the police, we have agreed that we are going to send more uh, 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 boots on the ground. So it's safe, one would say, it's safe to say that yes, uh, the, the visibility has increased. We have uh, increased our resources, but normally what happens is... Unfortunately, it seems we have lost that connection with Brigadier Selvi Mothala, uh, but good news that at least one suspect has been arrested in the murder of a German tourist earlier this month.